I should have probably waited a little bit to let this movie marinate and let it sink in some and gather my thoughts. You can probably still hear it in the background. The credits are still playing. I literally just got done watching this, put the camera on, put my light on, and now I'm here to give you my review for The Five Bloods, co-written and directed by the master, the legend himself, the OG, Mr. Spike Lee. When I hit play, I got kind of nervous. You know why? Because if I could be real, Spike can sometimes go out there. All right? I'm going to be honest. Sometimes Spike can go like way out there with this shit, like almost on another planet. But when, when his shit is on, it's on. He's, he's the best at what he does. But sometimes he goes a little bit out there. But when I hit play, I said, you know what? I want this movie to really be good because if it's not good... I have to call it. I have to, I have to call it how I see it, y'all. I you know, I'm just honest when it comes to movies even when I want to like it. And especially a Spike Lee movie who I admire so much. He's like in my top 5 favorite directors of all time. This movie, The Five Bloods, delivered. It delivered. Holy shit, did it deliver. This movie was a journey. This movie was an adventure. I enjoyed the shit out of the five bloods this was nothing like i expected i expected uh, a war drama and it was way more than that it was about the camaraderie with these five brothers and what they went through during the war and then the aftermath of the war so i'm not gonna get into spoilers here really and um i don't remember the trailer so i don't know what really i can say what i can't say but okay this movie is about these five brothers who of course they survived the war and uh, they come across this big ass chest full of gold and now fast four years later they're they leave the Vietnam War they're older you know what I mean like grumpy old men and they want to go back to reclaim that gold and that's the adventure of them trying to reclaim this gold and as they go back to Vietnam they get haunted by the demons of the past and come in to face to face with these demons and it <sighs> this movie was just deep y'all the standout character the standout actor in here was Delroy Lindo Delroy Lindo who I've seen the memes and I can't unsee it now LeBron James senior okay <laughs> Delroy Lindo absolutely killed it in this movie this guy put a fucking performance on and if they decide to have a Oscars of what they can salvage out of 2020 you got to put him in the Oscar race so far like this is the best performance I've seen so far this year Delroy Lindo I don't know and he's kind of been out, he's been out the game for a minute. Well, at least I think he has. I don't really remember seeing him in much. But man, did he kill it in this movie, as as well as the rest of them. And you know what? I can't think of the names of the other actors, the the rest of the Bloods. Um, well, okay, you have Chadwick Boseman, um, which was funny seeing him because I've 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 seen Black Panther so many times. So when I hear Chadwick talk like a regular person. I said, holy shit, like, I'm expecting him to speak Wakanda, and he's speaking like, like a regular brother. Almost kind of reminded me of Denzel a little bit. Now, the other Bloods, you have, uh, okay, if you've seen The Wire, Lester Freeman from The Wire, and Senator Clay Sheet Davis <laughs> is in this as well. Oh, man, Spike did a great job with this, y'all. Like, the cinematography... The fucking depth of field when they're in the, the jungles of Vietnam. Like, this is a beautiful shot, beautiful looking movie. The musical score was epic. There was a, a couple of what the fuck moments where I'm like, whoa, shit. <laughs> I said, god damn. <laughs> Some stuff really caught me off guard, y'all. Spike directed the shit out of this. I, I highly recommend this movie, uh, Real Talk. I highly recommend this. And, um, and by the end, I had my fist up like this. Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, I don't give a damn what y'all say, y'all, Black Lives Matter, fuck it, if you don't like what I say, you clicked on my face, I had my fist up by the end of this movie, I love this joint, y'all, so wrapping this up, I'm about five shots in, so I have to wrap this up before my eye goes a drooping, because once I've been drinking, that drink really kicks in, my eye starts doing like, like this shit right here, I'm gonna give the five bloods an A, a solid A, this belongs with Spike's best, definitely belongs with the best of his movies. Spike hasn't lost a step. You know, some of my favorite directors are starting to age a little bit in their work shows. Spike is still sharp as a whip. 
He's putting out content that, that makes you think, that makes you feel something, and you leave knowing, you leave this uh, this film knowing that you had an experience, and that's what most Spike Lee movies do, is when the movie's over with, you feel like you had an experience, and that you experienced a journey, and god damn, I dug this movie, y'all. Highly recommend it. It's on Netflix. You ain't got to go out to the movies and risk catching the Rona to go see it. Get this shit on Netflix and watch The Five Bloods. It runs at 2 hours and 35 minutes, but you don't feel the runtime. At least I didn't feel the runtime. Every moment in this movie was engaging. Check it out, y'all. So anyways, have you seen The Five Bloods? What you think about it? Comment freely below. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you dig and like the content, hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner. This is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.